Hello and welcome everybody back to another dinosaur special. Today we're at the Tokyo National Museum at the Grand Night Dinosaur Parade. And why are we here? Well, normally they have a parade here for the Yaki Yagyo, named the Night Parade of 100 Demons where people dress up as the yokai or demons of Japanese folklore and parade the streets at night. However, this time they've got a different take on it, whereas we're having dinosaurs embodying, well, humans embodying the spirits of dinosaurs. The parade is a homage to the original script that dates back 800 years that you can find in this actual museum. And this is gonna be only on for two nights as the 27th to the 28th. So we're getting like early secret access to seeing this amazing show. And there's gonna be, I think 22 or 20 odd dinosaurs, the most amount of dinosaurs I've ever seen at a single Dino Alive show. So let's have a look. So actually, James, there are 21 dinosaurs in this show. And if you're watching this video, the day that it goes live, for the mere price of 1,700 yen, you can watch the live streamed version of this parade on their website. A link to that will be in the description down below. But before we can see the dinosaurs, we need to awaken them from their slumber. And what better way to do so than these drums? These Japanese drums are known as the Wadaiko, and they're what will awaken the ancient dinosaurs. This progressively gets more and more drums. Everyone should have a little drum, I think. Just be under your seats. In the second thought, that would probably be a bad idea. Oh, very good. In fact, this tulip tree that's standing in front of the museum is the same type of tree that existed with the dinosaurs over a hundred million years ago. But this is more than just a tree, as the spirit of which you can see right now is about to bring back the dinosaurs back for one night only. The use of instruments, lighting and costumes really gave the performance a mythical, otherworldly feeling. Safe to say, it's far from the normal milieu we're used to in our busy, hectic modern life. So, the reason why they're using a flute is because it's a very high-pitched sound from the heavens, and that's what the spirit is, almost descending, like with the notes and stuff. And in order to call upon the spirits of the past, we had to do a chant that they called the Primal Roar to help call the dinosaurs back from the past. And slowly, the dinosaurs started to appear. Super excited because we're going to see some dinosaurs that I have never seen before tonight. I've seen two of the shows! And seeing as this was basically a private show, that being a rehearsal, I thought I'd make the most of it and make myself a target for the dinosaurs that wanted to have a little nibble. The first dinosaurs to come back were the Utah Raptors. Normally, I'm used to seeing a max of two to three of these guys from my previous experiences at their shows, but not today. There was not two, or three, or four, but five of these guys walking around. Oh, I had no idea they had more than two. Keeps me guessing, does Kanemura-san. Oh. <laughs> 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 Terrifying yet blissful. Very much so. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You, you do have a sense of, you're put in a primal situation, which isn't normally something that I think you feel in everyday life. But when you have something that big looking at you, like, oh, oh okay, I am, I am an animal. <laughs> and one was very interested in my shoes. <laughs> the Pachycephalosaurus was next. It's Whitney's favorite, this one. It's got little baby hands, little baby fingies. <laughs> it's okay. Having a little nibble on some grass, which actually did exist during the time of the dinosaurs, if you didn't know. Oh, he's eating grass, see? 
paleontologically accurate. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. I feel my inner child like waking up. It's like, yes! This is what you imagine when you play with the little dinosaur toys. You're like, yeah, get them! Except for they're here. But being close to dinosaurs is not without its dangers. Whoa. Thank God I was sitting down. Took me head off that one. Dakota raptors followed them up. And just like the Utah raptors before them, uh, they took a liking to the cameraman. <laughs> All the footage you're seeing was filmed during a rehearsal, which is why a lot of it looks quite empty. But Dino Live have sent me over footage of their show that just happened tonight, so you can see just what it looks like at a sold out show. Kanemura san said he had a vision of like hundreds of these. As time goes on, he's slowly making it. You don't realize it, he's making them though. <laughs> but, wow. I stood firm. I'm not a coward. Maybe now though. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. You didn't see that. Cut that out. <laughs> ah. Was it Owen Grady pose? Then they were followed by the Fukuisaurus, a dinosaur discovered in Japan. And originally what I thought was actually a baby Allosaurus turned out to be the Fukui Raptor. Normally you have all of the giant dinosaurs take up the spotlight, but it was really nice to see the Fukui Raptor and the Fukuisaurus get their own moment in the spotlight. Hello! Dinosaur Whisperer. Oh. I've just spotted one I've been waiting to see. I'm gonna have to wait a long time for him to come round. <laughs> Easy little baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like that. It was very bird-like in them. Japan, oh, do you like the food? It must be the architecture, you know, the, the language. No, look around you. Then the Allosauruses came out to play. I think every show I've been to, this guy's been there. Or, or one of the two. Apparently there's two of them. <laughs> Didn't like being stared at, apparently. It just takes one dinosaur nerd, and before you know it, you've packed an entire museum courtyard with dinosaurs. <laughs> and every so often, we would have to perform our primal roar to summon even more dinosaurs to the present. <laughs> hey, it's not every day you get to see this, like... Ah, oh, here we go. Go do the scream. by the ginormous Triceratops. Triceratops! Uh, you know that one. North America. Would have fought T-Rex. And Kylosaurus came next. Speaking of thick boys, that's a thick boy. <laughs> a big boy. Oh, he's wandering. Yeah. And after that, it was Stegosaurus's turn. Seeing the Stegosaur plates, it's like, oh, that's a shot from the Lost World. They all... Oh, the sunlight peeking through the tops of them. Oh, gorgeous. Off in the distance, I could see the one large carnivore I hadn't seen at all, that being the Sukumimus. I want to get close to the Sukumimus here, though. Oh, here it comes. Look at it. Oh. Sukumimus. Snout. Oh, that's so cool. I really loved the little blue spot in its tongue. Just that tiny pop of contrast really worked against the rest of its coloring. And then it was time for the lizard kings themselves, the Tyrannosaurus Rexes, which wasted no time in trying to eat the audience. Big one, big Rexy, big you. Oh, oh, it's amazing. You get the, like, when you're this perspective, when you're this low, they look even bigger. And the last of the big dinosaurs was the Giganotosaurus. There's that big boy. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. Which really knew how to work the camera. Mm -hmm. 
finally, rounding them all up was the spirit of that tulip tree. Not a dinosaur, but equally as captivating. The two T-Rexes and the Giganotosaurus took center stage to bid us a fond farewell before returning back to the past. They're, they're still here, around, in spirit. So there you have it, that was the Grand Night Parade at the Tokyo National Museum. And that is the most amount of dinosaurs I've ever seen. What I loved about it was that they really took their time walking around. It didn't feel like one specific area got the most interaction. They really spent as much time with audience interactions as they could. And the drums, the, like the taiko drums beforehand, well, I didn't expect that, but it was really nice to have like, you know, some, some culture, some, it was almost a high class dinosaur show it felt like. Absolutely amazing. I can't, I'd say I'd recommend it, but it's only on for two, two days and by the time the video's out, it's already done. But that's not correct, James, because as I said earlier in the video, you could buy tickets to watch the live stream event by clicking the link in the description below. And you too can watch this amazing show as it's live streamed. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. Keep, if you want to keep on tabs with uh, On Art and Dino Alive, I'll put the link in the description down below where you can find upcoming shows if anything you've seen takes your fancy. And until next time, oh, I'll be at the next Dino Alive show. Oh, bye bye. Ooh.